asking us which Pythagorean identity is correct. So I have, I'm giving a list of all these Pythagorean identities here. So let me just do, let me just prove, um, prove some of these guys here. Um, as you see, it says option B here is the correct answer. And let's verify that. So I have A here, um, or let me just verify, uh, let's just verify the, the, the option B here to make sure that the solution here is correct. So B is stating that it gives me tan squared theta equals, or plus one equals um, secant squared theta. So what we can do first is we can actually change tangent into sine and cosine. So we have sine squared over cosine squared plus one equals secant squared. And then what we have here is um, we, what we can do is we can actually disperse this one into its common denominator, right? So I can write everything in terms of cosine squared. So I'm going to have sine squared at the top, like always, and then add also a cosine squared as well, because cosine squared divided by cosine squared is simply just one here, right? This is easy, going to equal secant squared. And what we can do here is I can see that I'm going to have um, sine squared plus cosine squared is going to equal one, right? Because of my um, first Pythagorean identity, right? We know that we know that sine squared theta plus cos squared theta equals one. So therefore, we're going to have one in terms of the numerator over cosine squared theta, which equals secant squared theta. And we know that secant squared theta is simply just one over cosine squared theta. So this solution is correct. So left side equals right side. So this here is a good solution. So we know that secant is again, our secondary trig match ratio or our, the reciprocal, sorry, of cosine squared theta. So the solution here is correct. So B is the correct Pythagorean identity. Thank <laughs> you.